Tom Cruise has become a viral hit on TikTok, or has he? That's freaky, man. We're living in a freaky times right now. Looks exactly like Tom Cruise. In this reel, you're going to see my amigo, Chris Umi. <laughs> He's going to introduce to you the wonderful world of deep things. How AI and VFX are unlocking the future of our imagination. I made the Tom Cruise deepfake and it was one of the biggest viral deepfake videos on the internet ever. I'm Chris and I'm a VFX and AI artist. I'm trained as a cameraman. I've been doing VFX for about eight years. The first time I heard about deepfakes is the end of 2018. It was on a, on a new channel where they were talking about people misusing the technology in pornographic videos. And that made me realize there were a lot of creative possibilities. A deepfake is um, a video where someone's face has been changed into another. So, for example, in the videos I make with Miles Fisher, you don't see Miles Fisher's face, no, you see Tom Cruise's face. I just overlaid it on top of Miles. With your help in 2020, together, we'll dominate the ballot box. This is no stunt. The way I train a deepfake is where I tell a computer model to start training on thousands of images of a, of a certain character. In my case, it's Tom Cruise. Thousands of images all his expressions all his angles so in the end i have like one big model and it's like one big tom cruise model all of all of tom cruise's emotion is in this model well, every now and then i like to treat myself <laughs> and uh it's good because discipline oh at the end of 2020 I got contacted by Miles Fisher, Tom Cruise impersonator, one of the world's best. He was doing this Tom 2020 project where he is impersonating Tom Cruise uh, like going for presidency. Why vote for me? I'm not just your everyman. I've literally been every man. I've been a Navy pilot, a lawyer, and a Navy lawyer. And a few weeks after the video, he contacted, contacted me again. And he asked me, would you like to do a collaboration? Just have some fun. So he sent me this video where he was standing in his garden and he was saying like, um, go watch my podcast because Miles has a podcast. Go watch and, and listen to my podcast. It was just something really simple. And two days after I sent him the final video, he sent me a screenshot and he, he actually made a TikTok account called Deep Tom Cruise. And he sent me a screenshot of the channel and we had like 45,000 followers and two and a half million views. I'm gonna show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's all the real. When you watch our videos, I want you to be perplexed, like, is this Tom Cruise or is it someone else? So the first video now is the one where he's playing golf and that one went viral. It's unbelievable. Um, the Twitter was overloading. Um, if you typed it in, in, in YouTube or on Google, you, you'll find so many articles. And I think after a few days or after a week or two, we had like 10 million views on that specific video. We had a few videos and all of them went viral on their, in their own way. And so you had a lot of people talking in the comment section, talking about this is Tom Cruise. No, it isn't Tom Cruise. Yeah. This dude on this guy on the left has been pulling a real uh, Tom Cruise thing for a while with the he does look like Tom Cruise. And, and, and when I saw this article, I was like, oh, makes sense why it looks so good. Cause the guy, his face shape is basically Tom Cruise. Yes. And they were like trying to convince each other um, to believe in certain ideas. Like it's Tom Cruise is being weird because he's going to make a new movie. <laughs> the 4th of July. I'm Tom Cruise and I'm running for president of the United States. America, you complete me. I'm guessing we got 100 million plus views. At one point, Miles told me, maybe it's good because I'm pretty sure Tom Cruise has seen these videos now. 
we send an email to his agency and, and let's just say if you want us to stop what we're doing we'll take the, the videos offline and after that he called his agency and he asked them did you receive the email and they say yeah we received it but we still haven't got a reply so we guess it's okay